Hello YouTube, Robert Alvarez, the Psychic Witch, also known as Mr. Lighting and a Fan. The fan is off because I've been feeling a little nippy today, but there is a lamp and there's the lingering natural lighting of the sun and the clouds. <laughs> so right now the time is approximately 4.20 p.m. Eastern Time. I know some of you got excited over something green perhaps. <laughs> And the date is Thursday, March 20, excuse me, Thursday, February 23rd, 2023. It is the day after Ash Wednesday, which is the day after Mardi Gras, or Fat Tuesday. The moon is waxing in Aries, and the sun is transiting in Pisces. So this is the video about the second book in the In Every Generation series of novels by Kendare Blake. This one is entitled One Girl in All the World. And of course I'm going to have Drake, more commonly known as my awesome audiovisual person for my YouTube videos, do a close-up of the cover. And now I'm going to have him do a close-up of the back of the cover. And I'm going to read the synopsis. And I must admit I'm not as far ahead into it yet. Um, I recently discovered, excuse me, I recently remembered that people are allowed to walk into my local public library. So I've been borrowing some books. Anyway, so, high school is hell, especially on a hell mouth. Frankie Rosenberg is the world's first slayer witch, meaning she's a vampire slayer and she's also a witch. <clears throat> But she doesn't have that slay life balance figured out just yet. She's still reeling from the deadly explosion at the annual Slayer retreat, and new evidence that some Slayers may have survived. And while she's defeated her first big bad, Frankie soon realizes it was just a warm-up act. Bigger, badder forces of evil are just getting started. The Hellmouth has been reawakened, and it's calling old friends home. Portals are opening between Sunnydale and other dimensions, and the Scooby Gang has too many demons to contend with. Real, metaphorical, and sometimes absurdly hot. Sigmund, I'm talking about you. <laughs> Sigmund is one of the new Scoobies. Okay, uh, so then an oracle warns of a new foe on its way, the darkness. Could this be what attacked the Slayers? And is it coming for Frankie? Da, 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 da. <laughs> Haven't done that in a while. So I want to tell you, um, I recently found out through goodreads.com that there's only going to be three. This is only going to be a trilogy. I'm a little disappointed because, you know, hashtag Buffy lives forever. Um, but it's not like they're, they're, these are the only books that I can get. So, you know, there are other Buffy-themed books out there that I'm definitely uh, starting to find out about and putting on various wish lists and buying them when it's appropriate and all that other stuff. For the record, I'm currently at Chapter 9. Nice to meet you. Let me punch you in the face. I'm looking forward to the rest of this. I do not know yet when the third book will be published. Um, I know that this is the second one, and it was published this past January. In fact, um, for a while now, one of my favorite words in the English language is pre-order. So any opportunity I have to pre-order something, I do it, because that way I don't need to worry about them running out of the, you know, for the people who pre-ordered and all that other good stuff. And of course I receive it sooner than the people who did not pre-order, so you know there's always that. Um, I'm definitely going to spend more time with this book over the next few weeks, um, but I do not know when the publication of the third and final book in this trilogy will be published, so I am spacing it out quite a bit. And I also own this book, so it's not like I have to return it to my local library, you know, in two weeks or less. So the ones that are from my local library, I'm definitely prioritizing for obvious reasons. And then, and it's still con going to my, um, you know, my Goodreads 2023 reading challenge. I'm enjoying this book very much, 
Um, I will say I read an amazing review about the first book in this series, um, which was phenomenal. I think it was one of the best reviews I'd ever read on Goodreads.com. And I actually need to look for that review so that I can tell that person that, that review, his review is the most phenomenal I've ever read on um, Goodreads.com. Uh, I am enjoying this book immensely, um, even though I've only read the first eight chapters and, of course, the prologue and the introduction and all that other stuff. But it makes me so happy that there are so many different, um, so many newer Buffy the Vampire Slayer fans. And I do want to read um, the bio about Kender Blake, and I'm going to have Drake do a close-up of the author photograph as well. But for now, Kender Blake is the number one New York Times best-selling author of the Three Dark Crown series, the Anna Dressed in Blood duet, or as I know it, duology, All These Bodies and Others. She holds an M.A. in creative writing from Middlesex University in northern London, and after living there will forever be chasing the perfect packet of fish and chips. I would recommend Assault and Battery, the sister restaurant of Tea and Sympathy, which is in Greenwich Village, and I actually have yet to go to, to Assault and Battery. Um, now that I'm more open to eating seafood, I'm like, well, and, I've, I'm, and I have eaten fish and chips before, courtesy of the Pandorica restaurant. Um, now she lives and writes in Gig Harbor, Washington State, from under a pile of dogs and cats. And this is one of the cats that accompanies her when she's writing. And of course, I'm going to have Drake do a close-up of the cute little kitty and Ms. Kender Blake. You know, it's funny. I love this author photo photograph more than I do from the one that's on In Every Generation. You know, there's something about black and white photographs that just, they just stand out more, you know. But anyway. So let me know in the comments, are you reading this book? Have you heard of this book? Have you already devoured this book? Are you gonna read, have you, you know, let me know about any other Buffy books that you wanna recommend. I might not have heard of them, and I absolutely would love to read them if I have not heard of them. Um, and of course, I want to thank Kender Blake for being a fellow Buffy the Vampire Slayer fan and for writing books based on the Buffyverse. And I want to thank Hyperion, which is the publisher for this. And yes, I am aware that Hyperion is the name of the hotel that was featured in Angel Investigations, which was featured in Angel, the spinoff of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. When I saw Hyperion, I'm like, oh, you can't make this shit up. I'm telling you. And uh, I want to thank all of you in YouTube land for honoring who I am and what I do, and for honoring Drake, more commonly known as my awesome audiovisual person, for my YouTube videos and everything he does too. And of course, thank you so very much for all the likes, all the comments, all the shares, and all the subscriptions to my YouTube channel, and an extra big and beautiful thank you to those of you who have scheduled your sessions. I am very much looking forward to consulting the Oracle for you or conducting an energy healing treatment for you. And just a quick reminder, I will be offering readings and energy healing treatments virtually on Friday, March 17th, 2023, from 6 p.m. to midnight Eastern Time at the fifth, the Moon Serpent and Bone, fifth annual Moon Serpent, fifth annual, fifth fifth annual Ostara Festival. That's what I meant to say. And I will be offering divinely discounted rates and it will be first come, first served. You know what that means? You know what that means. So to all of you in YouTube, and, and of course an extra big and beautiful and bountiful thank you to my fellow Buffy fans. Buffy lives forever. And if anybody tells you otherwise, you know what to do. And if you don't want to deal with them, send them to me. I know exactly what to do. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next video, and I wish all of you and yours the greatest and the grandest of blessings.